today on this fantastic fabulous friday make sure you guys make sure you like comment subscribe under this video make sure y'all do that asap and let's dive into it let's get into it so today i will be talking about who is in my top five best players of all time from the 2010s era from the last decade so at number five i got no other than my man the guy, the Brody, Russell Westbrook. Man, he had, man, he had, I could talk about his prime for ages. But what he did in the 2010s was remarkable. All star appearances, you know, finals appearance, conference finals appearances, and his pure athletic ability was at its peak. Mid range pull up was OD. You couldn't stop it. Um, I think he was the. I think, I believe, if I'm correct, yeah, I think he ended in 2010. I think he ended with uh, 137 triple doubles. And he's a point guard doing leading that from the last decade. And he ended the 2010s, ended with 137 triple doubles, bro. And I think Westbrook in the 2010s is one of the best guards you've ever seen. I say his athletic ability was at his peak. His offensive game was. It was it, it was underslept being deep because he had a good three point shot. Like I say, his pull up mid range game, his mid range game in general was top notch, one of the best in the league at that time in the 2010s. Um, still to this day, still going to give you 110 percent 110 percent effort on both ends. Uh, one of the best fast break players of the, of the last decade. Always uh, pace the floor, push it, transition. Um, you know, Westbrook was, was a dog, man. He was a dog, you know, in the 2010s. And, you know, and if you look at his, just his highlights, excluding the stats and how he played, how he approached the game, still the same way. But his performance when he when he was the number one option on the team, I mean, he still can give you points, rebounds, steals, clutch buckets. I mean, West, Westbrook had it all in the 2010s, bro, and, I can say I think he was a scoring champ twice, I believe, if one or twice in the 2010s. So, man, Westbrook, what he did with him and KD and OKC in, in them prime years in the 2010s was, was spectacular. So, for Westbrook, man, he deserves to be at number five on my list um, on this topic. And who I got number four? The cooking man, James the Beard Harden. I mentioned my uh, top five shooting guards of all time. His body of work in Houston alone was incredible, averaging 30 points in Houston pretty much in the 2010s. Um, and I think he was uh, I think he was ranked number two of making the most uh, threes in the um, 2010s era. I think, of course, Steph Curry was number one on that list. But, man, James Harden, man, he was spectacular in the 2010s. His, uh, Offensive bag grew even more each year when he uh, arrived in Houston. And to, to go back even further a little bit, he won six man of the year in OKC during the lockout year, during the season, uh, during the, two, the 2011 2012 season, which is, was the, the lockout year. He won six man of the year. So we kind of we saw how good offensively he was, especially that particular season. And then in Houston, he just skyrocketed. No pun intended. Uh, <laughs> um, but, man, like I said, man, a, a pure scorer. Uh, he, he was way more versatile in his bag offensively, driving in, uh, shooting the mid-range. Uh, we know about his threes, but he added more bag, more offensive bag with three-point shots, shooting you know, out the dribble with the style steps, the step backs. And then he was adding more to that into the mid-range, but I feel like he more evolved in, into that off the three-point line. Because he already can shoot the ball. And he got one of the best handles you've ever seen at the two-guard spot. And he's a lefty. And, of course, like I always say, he's a crafty scorer. So, James Harden, man, he, like I said, his body of work in Houston is one of the best 
resume you ever seen from a player, especially playing for that team for that long. And, you know, his MVP season was spectacular. And then the year after that, when he averaged 36 a game in, in the 2018, 2019 season, it's, it, it's, it's absurd, man. And, you know, unfortunately, he couldn't get over the hump in the 2010s with the Houston Rockets ever since pretty much uh, during the him. During the James Harden, Chris Paul era in the Houston Rockets, they couldn't get off the hump. But nonetheless, besides that, he was still, his body of work is still incredible in the 2010s, especially with the Houston Rockets and what he done and for their franchise. And, you know, he was a trendsetter with the step back threes, the side step threes, and, and look at everybody doing the same thing. Shout out to Luka Dungeons. <laughs> and at number three, my favorite small four of all time, one of my favorite scores of all time. Kevin KD slash Durantula Durant. Man, hey, hey, pure scorer, pure bucket getter, one of the best hazy pull ups we've ever seen. Had an incredible MVP year in the 2013 2014 season, averaging uh, 32 a game. Um, you know, also had one finals appearance, but can get up the hump, you know, because that's when at that time when, when okay, she was really rising even more. That's when Golden State and Steph Curry came about. And, you know, um, the rest is history on that. <laughs> but, you know, he, like I said, in OKC, he still played the same way. He just, back in his prom, OKC, you see in his club, he was a little bit more agile, a little bit more quicker, but still scored the same way. Smooth score, mid range is it, it, it's, it's, it's as efficient as it gets. <laughs> um, like I said, turn around fadeaways. Uh, he just he's a smooth nonchalant scorer, meaning nonchalant in a good way. Cause you're not gonna force him to do anything out of his character, force him bad shots or whatever, but you know, this man with his body to work in twenty tens is spectacular, especially with OKC and Golden State. So pretty much he stayed the same player, just more more composed in terms of just how he scored the ball a little bit. Nowadays, you know, coming from Achilles injury, still dropping more than 26 a game to this day is incredible. So shout out to my boy Kevin Durant to be number three on my list. And number two, no other than the chef, Steph freaking Curry, transcender, changed the game, evolved the game, uh, re-identified the game um, with his three-point shooting, uh, the no-look threes, the ball handling. I mean, Steph Curry took the 2010s by storm, especially in the mid-2010s when he won back-to-back -back MVP. And we pretty much saw his rising potential during the 2012-2013 season when he made his, uh... No, he didn't make an all-star that year, but that's when, you know, he was still playing under Mark Jackson. And you saw how, like, his game was growing and he was his three-point shooting was just spectacular. And he was leading, and he and he's the number one leader in the 2010s at three point made, of course. So that's a, that's a no brainer for uh, Steph Curry. And you know, like I said, he had a great scoring season, averaging 30 points, scoring champ that year. I think he will. I think he wasn't, but that besides the point. Uh, like I said, he he took 2010s by storm, especially in the mid 2010s, and um. Like I said, I mean, his resume bottle of work in 2010s was spectacular. Despite overcoming those ankle injuries he had in the first two or three years in the league. So shout out to my boy Steph Curry to be number two on my list. And no other than the guy, the man himself. The GOAT of the 2010s. The GOAT of his era. Number one, LeBron King James. It's, I'm definitely going to talk about his body of work in Miami. Because it was incredible. Man, that four-year stretch in Miami is some of the best four-year stretch you've ever seen in your life. Athletic, can shoot the ball. You know, his three-point his three point game was way much better than it is now. But, I mean, that's when he was still in his prime, of course. Uh, I mean, like I say, he, he, he was just a freak of, a freak of nature in, in the 2010s with the Miami Heat. And one of back-to-back MVPs, you know, championships, uh... You know, finals MVP. I mean, dude, resume accolades says it all in the 2010s, bro. <laughs> LeBron James was him in the 2010s, and he's deserved to be the best player from the 2010s and number one on my list. 
So, you like this video, like, comment, share, subscribe, whatever you gotta do. Comment below who's on y'all list. Jay Boogie is out.